Lindy from Love Crate Celebrate. Welcome back to our channel where we share all of our DIY and home renovation videos. Today is another one of my favorite videos because it is the My Seasonal Home Tour Holiday Home Tour video. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future DIYs, decorating, and home renovation videos. I am showing off all of our Christmas decorations in today's video, and I'm really excited to be co-hosting this home tour with my friend Colleen from LemonThistle.com. She shares a ton of amazing projects on her channel. You're definitely gonna wanna check it out after this home tour and see what she did to decorate her home. If you watched last week's video, then you already got a sneak peek at this living room when I shared how I decorate my mantle. And today I'm going to be showing you five more rooms in our house, the entry, the bathroom, the kitchen, the dining room, and our living room. Plus, I'm going to be showing you a sneak peek at our newly finished stair renovation. If you've been following us on Instagram, you might know that we have been working on these stairs for about a year, which is way too long to be working on one renovation. We cannot wait to show you the finished product. Today, you're gonna get the first sneak peek at the finished stairs, so I'm really excited to show that to you. For my home tour today, I'm obviously sticking to a pretty modern style because that's what I always do. I will put a link to a bunch of the products I used in the description below, but if you have a specific question, please ask in the comments and I'll do my best to find the right source for you. Okay, so let's go see. As always, I start my home tours in the entry. It's the first room you see when you come in our house and usually my favorite room to decorate, which is why I often tackle this space first. The other side of the door in here it just has some storage and some hooks so it's not very interesting and not decorated which is why I'm not sharing that part of the room but this side especially where the console table is I love to decorate. swapped out the faux greenery in these planters with some real sprigs from some greenery I got this year. I love the texture it adds in here. I'm gonna try and spritz them every couple of days, but honestly I don't know how long it will last, so fingers crossed. I also decorated the mirror with some faux greenery this year and I didn't have to attach it at all. I actually just tucked the stems all behind the mirror and they stayed in place perfectly and I'm really happy with the look. Our house is filled with budget-friendly decor that I DIY'd or made, like these little houses, a cheap print that I printed off, and a little wreath that I made, and I love seeing all of those elements come together and just make a space beautiful without having to spend a ton of money. Next, we're going to move to the bathroom, which is right down the hall. I never do a ton in here, but it has a couple shelves that are fun to decorate, and I always like to add a little bit of Christmas cheer. The only change that this vanity got was some real sprigs of greenery again. I took these real branches, put them in water, and placed them beside the sink. I 
I had a little too much fun putting a quote from one of my favorite holiday movies on my letterboard this year. Letterboards are such a fun piece to decorate with because you can customize it to say different phrases every year and you only pay for it once. And then we move on to the next room on my main floor, which is the kitchen. We have a nice big open kitchen with a big island and it can be really fun to decorate in here. And then again, I had a little bit of fun doing a holiday letter board. say this every home tour I think but I try to keep our decorating really functional by keeping out the pieces and the things on the counters that we use every day and just decorating around that with some fun things that match our decor style. Once again the open shelving is my favorite part of decorating this space and these open shelves got some of the dollar store DIYs and craft Christmas DIYs that I did this year. If you missed that, I will link the videos up top and in the description so you can check out how I made these projects too. The greenery around the window is another super simple addition to the space, but I love the character and texture that it adds, especially when it's lit up in the evening. Next to the kitchen is our DIY coffee bar that I added a few festive touches to. Most of the pictures I have framed get swapped out for holiday prints at this time of year. I really love both this simple minimalist tree print and the comfort and joy one and both are available in our Love Crate Celebrate shop which I will link to below if you want to download your own. I always think it adds just a little bit more to my decor to swap all the prints out. And with the goal of keeping my coffee station very clean and functional, I put some of my favorite mugs out, some sweet treats that go very well with coffee, and some of my syrups for coffee flavor. Our kitchen is also open to our dining room on the other side, which has a huge vaulted ceiling and a beautiful chandelier and I love how open this space is. We just recently got this brass mirror on the wall behind the table and I'm totally obsessed with it. The little Christmas trees were the first thing we put on that brass ledge and I love everything about it. I also always put a second Christmas tree in this room this one I kept really really simple this year and put all of our kind of woodsy ornaments on here. All of the whimsical animals and forest themed ornaments. I think it came together really nicely and is just a beautiful backdrop for when we're sitting down and having dinner.
simple table setting on the table that we could easily eat around or move briefly if we needed to and put back. And this year I settled on putting these holiday black trees that I actually made as one of my dollar store DIYs and then just added some candlesticks and a simple eucalyptus garland and I think it looks really classy and elegant but is so simple. And then this little folding paper tree is one of the decor pieces I bought this year and I love it so I had to put it in the background of my dining room. Like I said before, this is a big open space, so our dining room flows right into the living room, which I shared some of already in my previous mantle decor video, and then the living room flows right into our desk, which is all decorated for the holidays. I put our dollar store advent calendar here so that the kids can use it easily and I filled the shelves with some cute Christmas decor. The kids actually use this desk a lot for coloring and doing crafts so I really didn't want to clutter it up or fill it up with too much stuff. I still wanted it to be fun but functional for them. And the final stop on my home tour is the living room. I love how cozy this space feels. Our tree is mostly decorated with white and black and wooden ornaments. And I realized when I was filming this that my children adjusted quite a few of them before I caught it, but it still looks amazing to me. I switch around the coffee table decor often, but the easiest thing to keep in place is just a simple bowl with extra Christmas ornaments. been waiting here is a sneak peek at what those stairs look like we still need to put a little bit of paint on the moldings but the stairs look incredible if you've been following us on Instagram then you know these stairs have gone through a major transformation we're gonna be sharing the whole process and the before and after very soon on YouTube so stay tuned I hope you guys enjoyed that home tour. If you like the home tour, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below. And as always, hit the bell so you can be notified of future DIY and home renovation videos. And don't forget my friend Colleen is sharing her home tour today as well. So now you can pop on over to her video, check out what her home looks like all decorated for the holidays. Thank you so much for watching.